Today let's learn how to do traversal in a linked list. In our earlier sessions on linked list, we have already seen how to do insertions and deletions in a linked list. Uh, so today let's see the traversal in a linked list. Now here I'm going to make a linked list first and explain the concept of uh, the traversal. Then we can uh, write the coding for that. Right. Now this is the uh, start address, right? Then let's have some nodes here like this. Suppose I've got five nodes, right? And this is the next pointer of these nodes. Okay, now let's uh, say that the address let's give some addresses here this is one zero double two let's put it as one zero double three one zero double four and one zero double five and this is your start which contains the address of the starting node so here we are going to have this 1011 and inside this whatever information you have like let's say we have some numbers here right and here I'll have 1022 and here uh, some number again integer right and uh, here I'll have 1033 and here let's put it as 76 and this is 1044 101 102 right one zero double five and here I have a number two zero nine and that is the end of the link list right so the list is ready now the link is like this this is pointing to this this is pointing to this this one is here right from here we go to this and this right now we have to do traversal in the list first of all let's look at the um, logic uh, algorithm for that then let's convert that into a c++ coding right the first thing you have to do is uh, you have to take a pointer right let's say ptr and initially you put that ptr is equal to start right so ptr is equal to start when i say ptr becomes equal to 1011 here right so i'll just put it here ptr becomes equal to 1011 right now after that we need to have a loop right and um, loop until ptr is equal to null right so inside the loop what we are going to do is we are going to display ptr info right ptr info is this part this one uh, this is the info part let's say and this is the next pointer i call it as next right so display ptr info and after doing that I'll have to advance PTR to PTR next, right? So I should write PTR is equal to PTR next. And then the loop is closed like this, right? Now PTR is equal to 1011. Now it will print that 1011, right? Okay. Hmm. So 1011 is printed. Fine. After that, we say that PTR is equal to PTR next. Now, what is, sorry, PTR is 1011. So, what is the next of 1011? This is 1011. The next of 1011 is 1022. So, now PTR becomes equal to 1022, right? So, PTR next is basically equal to 1022. So now PTR becomes 1022. So what is inside 1022? That is 67, right? Here I have written 1011. It's basically it will display the information inside that. So the information inside that is 45, right? 
so first 45 will be printed then 67 will be printed and then 1022 next what is next of 1022 it is 1033 so it comes to this right it will print this 76 then it goes to 1044 because that is the next year so when you say PTR is equal to PTR next this is this node is PTR now PTR next is this node so it comes here 102 is printed again PTR is equal to PTR next if we say that is 1055 now 1055 is this node so when it comes to uh, let's say here all right PTR is equal to 1055 that is the last one so here it will display the info part display the info part which is uh, the number here which is uh, I think 209 yes so it will display that 209 after that we say PTR is equal to PTR next now PTR next here means what 1055 next 1055 next so what is the next of 1055 the next of 1055 is null right so 1055 next is equal to basically null right so that brings us to the end of this loop the loop I have written loop until PTR is equal to null right so basically it is going to display from 45 67 and uh, 76 102 like that it will display fine so this is how a traversal is done in a linked list obviously to do <coughs> sorry obviously to do a traversal in a list you should have some nodes in the list right so uh, you have to create a linked list first insert some nodes into that and then you can display the linked list by writing this traverse function fine now I'll show you the program for this like the same structure which we had taken in our earlier videos of linked list you can take the same uh, structure like I had this uh, struct node right here you have int info and uh, this is node pointer next right and basically these uh, pointers we need start is for storing the starting address then new PTR for creating the new node then these uh, here I'll need this PTR and uh, that's it okay now the normal functions though we are not going to write create node and all in this video but uh, I'll just put the prototype here create new node all these things uh, create new node uh, insertion and everything is explained in the previous videos right so here I'll not repeat that then void insert insert this we have to pass an address right that is done by this node pointer and now this one this is what we are going to do void traverse and this is again I pass an address into it that is the starting address right so this is a prototype for the traverse function after that you will have your void main now here uh, first the creation of the uh, linked list start is equal to rear is equal to null initially right then uh, int inf char ans is equal to y right then you have a loop here while ans is equal to equal to y or ans is equal to equal to y this is basically for uh, inserting the node right so this we have to do the insertion and then only we can do the traversal right uh, so see out enter the information for the node and then 
and here I take the information for the node in this INS variable that we have taken and then uh, new PTR is equal to this one create new node fine and within bracket you pass this INS right okay then this new node is created after that you check whether the node has been created or not so for checking that we have this if new PTR is equal to equal to null that means the node has not been created so you can give appropriate message here see out new node not created right and then you can exit else if the new node if new PTR is not equal to null that means the node has been created so basically you call the insert function and inside this you pass the new PTR this will insert the uh, new node into the list right and then see out do you want to continue I mean do you want to insert more nodes do you want to insert more nodes right and then and here you take the answer from the user that is your loop while loop right okay hmm? now so the user is given uh, the choice to continue with the process of insertion of more nodes right so once he says that he doesn't want to continue with that he will come out of the while loop and after the while loop I write see out displaying the list end it. now displaying the list here I'll call the travels function and within that I'll pass the address of start because I have to start from the first node right so start contains the address of the first node fine so this is the main function now the travels function void travels this uh, in this we pass the start address start here so that is basically of uh, node type so here I'll write node pointer uh, np or whatever that np is uh, a user defined variable you can put anything you want right so here I write while np uh, not equal to null if you remember the algorithm that's what we said right till it is not equal to null it will go on right so here I write C out NP this is NP is the uh, node now that is PTR that we had in our algorithm so if you want we can change it to PTR so that uh, we keep it as the same thing as what we did in the algorithm right so I put it as PTR here and uh, this again will change to while uh, PTR not equal to null right okay so, and here you display that uh, this is uh, C out PTR PTR info that is the info part right and after that you can give some space or uh, just some dotted lines like this right I want the list to be coming in a hole in the same line right we are not breaking the line here right and then here we say PTR is equal to PTR next right so that advances the pointer PTR to the next node okay hmm. that's it close the while loop and then close the travels function this is the place where we call the travels function so it uh, control passes to this it 
while PTR not equal to null, there is a bracket after this, right? So that is a simple uh, traversal. It's quite easy. So once uh, you're clear with the concept of the linked list, like how it works, and uh, since we have already uh, looked at the concepts of insertion and deletion, I think traversal is a much uh, simple uh, coding, just four lines of code here, right? So with that, I come to the end of this uh, session on the traversal in a linked list. Bye.